Well, there is definitely a debt ceiling fight looming over Washington, but is there a fight looming in the Republican Party? Will they hold the line on spending cuts and risk a default? With more on this, Republican Senator Mike Lee of Utah. Senator, always great to see you. Thanks for coming on the show tonight. Uh, let's start with something that Senator Mitch McConnell had to say on this very topic. The president, of course, has said, you know, this is no time to talk about cuts, right? Mitch McConnell says over the past three decades, in fact, U.S. presidents and lawmakers from both parties have routinely used the debt limit debate to reform government spending. The president may not want to cut spending as part of the upcoming debt limit debate, but history shows deficit reduction measures tied to debt ceiling increases are about as standard in Washington as the Cherry Blossom Festival. I assume you agree with that. Absolutely. I agree wholeheartedly with Senator McConnell's assessment. And that's why we need to have this discussion now. And it's all the more inappropriate for the president to be telling us we can't make any demands accompanying his request for yet another debt ceiling hike. Senator, how did you react to the president's tone in that last press conference when he talked about uh, this upcoming debt ceiling fight? He seemed a little angry at you guys. Yes, he did. He seemed almost annoyed at the fact that he had to deal with a co-equal branch of government, a group of pesky individuals elected by the people. It's like you people uh, want to, to do your job. Law. It's annoying. And, yeah, that, that's right. We have the audacity to insist that we follow the law and that we continue to make the law, as is our prerogative under the Constitution. Well, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we've got our work cut out for us. Uh, you know, I was noticing that over since 1990, We've raised the debt ceiling 18 times. And back in 1990, that first time we raised it, the debt ceiling was $3.12 trillion. Do you see a pattern here? The debt ceiling gets raised, the spending get ra gets raised, and it never comes back down. Yeah, that's right. It goes up, it never comes back down. And in the past, uh, uh, some, sometimes we've insisted on cuts along the way. Now we find in our, ourselves in a position where we've got $16.5 trillion worth of debt. Cuts aren't going to cut anymore. It, it's got to be more than cuts. It right. needs to be permanent structural spending reform. That's what we need. Well, what John Boehner has said, a dollar for dollar uh, spending cuts with debt ceiling hikes. Where do you want to start the X? I mean, what should get, I mean, what should get cut? Give me a list. Okay, there again, if we, if we talk about it just from the standpoint of cuts, I don't think cuts are going to do the job. We've got to permanently, structurally reform the way Washington spends money. All right, More well, importantly, tell me how you want to do that. Okay, the way we do that is through a, a, an approach that we referred to in the last debt limit debate as cut, cap, and balance. Uh, the short of it, Jerry, is to say that we can raise the debt limit, but we're not going to raise the debt limit. We shouldn't raise the debt limit until we put in place uh, a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution, one that requires Congress to balance its budget each year, and one that requires a supermajority vote each time Congress wants to raise the debt limit. That but would Senator, do it. That would get us on the path. We already know that's not going anywhere. I mean, it doesn't seem to me that you have the support for it. I mean, it's a nice it's a nice thing to suggest, but at the end of the day, what's going to move the ball forward on getting federal spending under control? It's a practical matter. I mean, don't you have to start uh, with all, uh, you know, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid? Don't you have to start with the tough stuff? I, I think you have to get there, but what I'm saying is that I think that you've got to start with the principle. You, you've got to start with the rule mm -hmm. and, and that, that says we, we believe as a nation, we agree as a nation that we do have to get to the point where we balance our budget. And then we have to put ourselves into a corner where we're going to be forced to do that. And something I like this structural spending reform. I feel like we're in a corner already, i got to tell you, Senator. I feel like uh, well, we the are. whole country is in a corner, and we're waiting for uh, Congress, we're waiting for Capitol Hill, the White House, everybody to get together and make some sensible uh, changes on how this spending. I mean, we just can't afford this. That's right. But we have to remember that nearly 70 percent of all Americans polled by CNN during the last debt limit debate agreed that we should have a balanced budget amendment in place. We should put one in place before we raise the debt limit. Uh, I haven't seen it polled again recently, but I'm confident that it's just as high today, if not higher. And so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to do, and it's not ready to happen today. But unless right. we call for it, unless we uh, start explaining the need for it, it's never going to happen, and it needs to happen. Senator Lee, thanks for coming on tonight. It looks really pretty Thank behind you, you i got to tell you. Utah is nice. All right, thanks so much. I live in a beautiful state. Thank you. <laughs> All right, a lot.